look at this. It is disgusting. It's a handkerchief. It was left on my floor and it is covered in bogeys. Blah. There's a whole nose full here. It's disgusting. But it does make you wonder, why do you get bogeys up your nose? Hmm? You get bogeys to so you can um, breathe nicely. That's all the germs, like all the mucus. Um, probably because you sniff. You get bogeys when we, when we get colds. Uh, I always get bogeys up my nose and I get a cold. Hmm. Well, we all get bogeys. And really, I don't know which one of those answers to pick. Because really, I can't put my finger on the right answer. OK, well, let's see. Everyone gets bogeys. And you get them up your nose. And your nose is the only thing that you smell with. So maybe bogeys help you to smell. Time to investigate. Nearly got it. <laughs> there. Oh, yes. It's amazing what sticky stuff you can find up your nose these days, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Hey, hey, come back. Come back. <laughs> Just kidding. This stuff has a name. It's called mucus. And don't worry, it's not real nose mucus. It's just stunt mucus. But it feels like it's nose mucus. It looks like it's nose mucus. And really it's made up of the same sort of stuff that nose mucus is made up of. Well, mucus is quite easy to make. You do need to use boiling water, so it pays to have the help of someone older. But what you do is you put some gelatin into a bowl with some boiling hot water. And you stir it up until it's all dissolved. When it's dissolved completely, you leave it to go sticky and gooey, like this stuff here. And then you add corn syrup. That really adds to the sticky gooeyness. Doesn't it look like bogeys? Do you want to know what makes the real stuff, your real nose mucus, all sticky and stringy? It's because it's made up of things that come in long strands and those strands like to clump together just like this gooey stuff here. Talk about sticky. If you're ever doing wallpapering and run out of glue, you can always use mucus. I'd use stunt mucus, mind you, not the real stuff. Your nose would be busy for far too long making enough of the real stuff. But there. See how it sticks to the board? It really grabs on. It also really grabs the hundreds and thousands. And it's that stickiness that makes mucus really useful. So useful, in fact, it's not just used in your nose, but in several other places around your body. This is hydrochloric acid, and it is powerful stuff. That's why I'm treating it with respect. You actually have hydrochloric acid in your body. It's in your stomach. And it's so powerful it can burn your skin. Watch what happens when I put in a piece of solid metal. It's eating that metal away. It's going to dissolve it completely. Well, if it can do that to metal, what's it going to do to the inside of your stomach? Well, actually, not a lot. And that's thanks to mucus. Your stomach has a lining of mucus in it. So while the hydrochloric acid is eating away at the food you've eaten and breaking it down, it's not able to touch your stomach wall, which is very lucky. Otherwise, you could end up with a big hole in your stomach like this. So mucus is really very useful. But the last time I looked up my nose, I didn't see any nasty acid. No, there's no acid up there. So maybe my nose mucus does a different kind of job. Maybe it's something to do with breathing. Yeah, because when you breathe, the air goes up your nostril, 
along your nasal passage and down to your lungs. I've seen enough anti-smoking ads to know better than to put anything else in my lungs other than pure, fresh air. Your lungs are a very sensitive part of your body. You don't want to get them clogged up with rubbish and gunk. But that's easier said than done. You think you're breathing in clear, fresh air, when you could be breathing in a whole lot of other stuff, like this dust here. And if you've ever worked around dust or been playing around something dusty, you've been outside on a smoggy night, or you've breathed in coal dust, you know what happens when you blow your nose? You get lots of disgusting bogeys like this here. Mm. Mind you, I suppose it's better that the black stuff ends up in your bogeys instead of going down into your lungs. So maybe that's your mucus doing its job. This is an artificial nose. Do you like it? I picked it myself. Now because it's an artificial nose, it needs some artificial mucus. Just like a real nose is lined with mucus. Join it together. And my artificial nose is attached to some artificial lungs, a vacuum cleaner. And it's on its way for a walk out on a smoky night. Some big breaths of nice smoky air. <coughs> Very smoky air. Let's see what it's done to our nose. You ready? Da da! Oh, gross. Lots of blackened nose mucus. Ugh. But it stopped that coal dust from getting down into my lungs. Mmm, bogeys at work. So, why do you have bogeys up your nose? It's because the air that we breathe might not necessarily be as clean as we'd like it. It might have dust or other yucky stuff in it. And that mucus is very sticky and it traps the dust and stops it from getting down into your lungs. You know, you could do an investigation with mucus, or not real mucus, use stunt mucus, and see if you can work out how sticky it really is. Because that sticky mucus does a very good job at trapping dust. But it can't get it all. So try and stay away from dusty, smoky places and do your lungs a really good favour. Oh, and if you do need to blow or pick your nose, always wash your hands. Right, I need to find out which disgusting person left this revolting handkerchief lying around. Ugh. Oh, it's got some initials on it. S-C, eh? Okay. Are they your initials? If it's you, own up. Come on. S-C. Maybe you have some questions you'd like answered on Susie's World. You can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or email me at susie at treehut.com. Or go check out your local library. They have lots of information there. Ah, uh, look, is that the time? Wow, I really must fly. Kaki te anoa. So maybe my mucus is for oh, so I'll cut it again. Nothing into your lungs except for pure fresh air. You don't want it. Sorry. Yeah. Well, actually, not a lot. Thanks to your mucus. You have a lining of mucus right in your oh, sorry, I'm getting all muddled up. Thanks to New Zealand on air, we couldn't have done it without you.